Thank you very much. As President Trump arrived at the United Nations for this week's General Assembly, he once again defended a phone call that he had with the leader of Ukraine that is now at the center of a controversy involving a national security whistleblower. Perfect phone call with the president of Ukraine. Uh, Everybody knows it. It's just a Democrat witch hunt. Here we go again. And he shrugged off the subject of impeachment. Not at all, seriously. Multiple media outlets last week reported the whistleblower complaint concerns a July 25th phone call where Trump pressed Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to investigate Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden and his son, a claim which Trump on Sunday appeared to acknowledge discussing on the call. We don't want our people, like Vice President Biden and his son, creating to the the corruption already in the Ukraine. Democrats are blasting the president, saying his actions are tantamount to promoting foreign interference in the 2020 election and abuse of power. Furthermore, Democrats want to know if Trump threatened to hold back congressionally approved aid to Ukraine as a bargaining chip. Trump has denied any quid pro quo, but on Monday he suggested he may have had good reason for withholding aid to Ukraine. Why would you give money? to a country that you think is is corrupt. There are growing calls for the administration to release a transcript of the call. Former Secretary of State John Kerry made the case to CBS News on Sunday. The only way to get at it is release the transcript, let everybody see what the president said. And if he leveraged American foreign policy and foreign aid to to get a president of another country to be the opposition research arm of his campaign, that is a fundamental, profound, and deeply disturbing abuse of power. In a letter released Sunday night, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi added her voice to the growing chorus demanding the acting director of national intelligence hand over the whistleblower complaint, saying, quote, if the administration persists in blocking this whistleblower from disclosing to Congress a serious possible breach of constitutional duties by the president, they will be entering a grave new chapter of lawlessness, which will take us into a whole new stage of investigation. Donald Trump has claimed without evidence that as vice president, Joe Biden improperly pressured Ukraine to fire a prosecutor investigating businesses linked to Biden's son. What Biden did is a disgrace. What his son did is a disgrace. Campaigning in Iowa, Joe Biden pushed back. The acting director of national intelligence is set to testify before the House Intelligence Committee Thursday.